welcome back we're back out here on the 64 again i just come out and uh pulled the front marker light out and it was blown so i haven't started the car yet today i'm gonna see uh see how she fires up cold and uh see if the tranny works i'm gonna pull it out and see how that acts and then i uh, will try to work on these lights a little bit and see if i can't get the marker lights and tail lights to work on it but let's see if she'll fire up Put the battery cable on. Let's see what she does. I haven't started it at all today, so might take it a second. Let's see. I hold the damn phone. Let's see if the oil pressure jumps up. Try to park. Man, I can't believe that. Can't believe that thing starts that easy. I tell you, I ain't touched it today. It's the first time I've been out in the garage. But I'll move this junk off here. And we'll see if we can pull it outside without running it through the fence. But I don't know anything about the brakes, and I don't know if the transmission. I ain't never pulled it in gear yet. So, let me put the hood down. That way I can get a clear view of the fence if I go through it. And I got all this shit in the floor. Alright, let's see. Slide in this thing. I guess the brakes work on it. Feels like they do. We're in neutral. Let's see. Uh, contact. Well, drop right into gear, huh? Oh fuck, I forgot. I ain't got the throttle hooked up, but it'll still roll out. Dumbass. <laughs> I forgot about the throttle not being hooked up. Went right into gear. I'm just easing it out. The brakes seem like they're working. Oh hell, the brakes work pretty good. He said they were rebuilt. So, huh? Put it in park and went right into neutral. Let's see. Let's see if reverse works. Yeah, a little slow going into reverse, but it did go. Yep, let's check back first. Where does he drive? Second, I know it ain't gonna do nothing doing that, but put it neutral. Huh. Yeah, she might be alright. Let's see. Let me turn these on. Let's see. Headlights come on. Well, let's put her, put her back in park. Ain't too bad. You got the damn key out. All right. Well. I guess let's get out of this jewel. Oh hell. Huh. Well, I'm surprised that damn training works. The lights are starting to work. Carburetor's not leaking. I thought it was there for a minute. <laughs> now I need to get a I'm gonna get a new alternator probably tomorrow. New plugs, and wires, cap, and button, and a regular black negative cable for the, for the battery. And do something with this other. You no, know, the positive one's black, but it's in like a a coating going down to the starter wires and shit. So I just have to put some 
red tape or something on that. I mean, I know the difference in it, but all right. Well, let me uh, stick a couple bulbs in it, and we'll see if we can get this to get the lights to, to work on it. Ah, that fender's ugly. I need to check my dash light too, but, but you can see she's bleeding. So something on the tranny. I think it's that line I was talking about. And you know what? Oh, this is a oh, this is a piece Darren brought over to me. I just kicked this on, which I didn't even see it, but I was just looking on Jake's last night, and this looks similar to the to what I needed to order for this carburetor. So this might. This might work on that. Hey, let me see here. That might bolt on down there. Let's see it does that. Let's see that bolt's there. And that would probably work because it right there is where the that is and this. Huh. Might be able to get it to work with that. I'll mess with that tomorrow though, but I won't mess with these lights right now. But thanks, Darren. I appreciate you bringing that in to me. So hope I can get that to work. I'm sure I can. All right. Well, let's set this down. And I got the tail lights off of it, and I don't know. I had maybe I hook them other bulbs up and they'll work. But I had the tail lights working, but they didn't have no brake lights yet and no tag lights. So I want to dig into them. So let me let me mess with this a minute and I'll. Bring it back here in a second and see if we get any contact. So we'll be right back. Has anybody ever had so much trouble to put a front marker light bulb in a 64 Plymouth? That's some bitch is tough to get in there. I'm gonna have to take the whole housing out to get it in there. I can't get my fat hand in there to get it turned to lock back in. So I guess just give me a second here. Let me take it out and I'll get her in there. Hold on. Okay, well, that was a bitch. That was the hardest bulb I've ever put in in my life. So, let's see what happens here. Let's see. What, uh, let me see. I thought that was crackling, but it's just a... Uh, let me see. I don't think they're on. I can't tell. Nope. I didn't even hook the battery up. Yeah, yeah. I gotta turn the key switch on. I guess. Let me see here. There's a key switch. That's on. I still don't think they're on. That bulb was blown. Oh, what the hell? That one ain't even the headlights on. What's going on there? I ain't got no headlights. No nothing. Switch hooked up. I ain't got no lights or nothing. Oh, there they go. No dash lights. It's high beam. I think I got a bulb out on high beam. Let's see. And yeah, they're all working. Still ain't got no parking lights. Hmm. Well, maybe that other bulb is out. I don't know. Let me see. No, the back one ain't working. They was all working, but now they're not. I had them working, but before I had the headlights working, and I can't tell. So let me turn the dimmer. Turn the dimmer switch off. So, see if my low beams are. I mean, just can't see nothing. Alright, well, let me check his other bulb. Maybe I burn a fusible link or something, but let me check his shit out. Alright, 
I'll be back in a minute. Well, I'm not sure what's going on here, but I think I need to take this other. The turn signal is actually working inside, but neither one of the marker lights are working. I like to never got that bulb back in there, but surely one bulb being out ain't going to make them both not work. I don't know. The tail lights, the turn signals are working on them, but I ain't got no tail or like just regular parking lights. So there must be a ground or something. I don't know. I'm going to take this other. Take this other one off and see if that bulb is blowed or the other side of it's blowed. Check it out, check the grounds. It's gotta be a ground or something because they was working until I started messing with the headlight switch. So, I don't know, let me check the, check this out again, check my grounds. See if it's something under the dash, I don't know. I'll be back in Well, I got the turn signals to work, but uh, I still don't know why the marker lights ain't working so like I say they was working I'm just wondering when I took that headlight out on the driver's side if I don't know if it did something or like this passenger side this headlight it'll come on for a while and then it like burns out or whatever so I'm gonna change it out and check the ground and check the backs of these and then check the driver's side again and see if maybe something's loose or not grounded good but the turn signals are working and just the parking lights won't come on so but we're getting closer we got the turn signals to work again i just need to get the front and rear uh, parking lights to work and get the brake lights to work when you push the brake pedal so let me pull this apart here and we'll see what we can come up with here well, i can't figure it out another thing i think maybe it might be i don't know i'm gonna look it up here in a minute but I don't know if something has to do with the, the turn signal flasher. I mean, the turn signals are working, but I don't know if that has anything to do with the actual parking lights. It probably don't, I don't know, but I'm gonna look it up here in a minute, see what the hell that has anything to do with it. I mean, you can hear it flashing when the lights are flashing, but I can't get the parking lights to come on at all. So maybe it's something in the steering column I know the turn signals wasn't working and then I was just pricking around with the, the turn signal switch because it wasn't working I just kind of jerking it back and forth real quick just trying to you know like if it was dirty in there or something and they they started working so but I've beat on it and pried on it and it it ain't making the parking lights come on but I just don't understand it I had them on the other day before I had the headlights working and I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe that headlight switch has got to be, it grounds out when you tighten it up in the dash or something. I don't know. Maybe it's because I ain't got it in the, in the dash frame. I don't know. I just have to do some research on it, but I'm about done messing with the electrical stuff. So maybe tomorrow we'll go get an alternator and some tie rod ends and see where this tranny line's leaking out, which I know where it's leaking. There's a rubber line up close to the transmission case that's on there. It's leaking. So I'll get it changed out and needs a few nuts and bolts underneath the rear end spring hangers in the front. I only have nuts on the bottom of the four bolts holding it in. So I just need to go over the whole car checking all the nuts and bolts. But maybe tomorrow we'll get it out and uh you know, do the tie rods and maybe change the oil and the plugs and wires and cap and rotor button. And I think I am going to get a new new distributor for it, just a stock distributor. I mean, it just, because that one, it works, but it's got a lot of play in it. But the motor does run good for having shitty plugs and wires and distributor in it. I mean, it runs pretty smooth, so it'd probably be a pretty good motor. So I'm just going to leave her alone for now and get this tranny line tightened up or actually changed and you know I'm gonna drive the shit out of it I need to get with my buddy Keith see if I can con him out of them uh, eight inch steel wheels for the back of this because that's just way too small of a baloney rind for the back of this so I'm gonna see if I can get them get them back off of him and if not I might go down to the Mo party show this weekend I think down in Bowling Green but 
maybe I can pick up, find another set of Luma Stars or find some 8 inch steel wheels. But, um, but for now we're just going to cut it off here. I know it's a short video, but tomorrow we'll get some other things for it and get changed on it. And, uh, you know, we we'll should have her out on the road here shortly and, uh, see if it'll even do a burnout with what's in it. But I, I think Kale said it just had a open rear end in it, so I'm sure it's nothing. But we do got the 410 land back here. So if you can't get a burnout out of this, we'll throw the 410 in it anyways till we change that whole rear end. So, but just uh, keep like, liking, sharing, and subscribing, and uh, just keep tuning in because I got a big surprise coming up here in about, I don't know, two weeks. You guys are going to see something that, uh, I don't know, you've seen it before, but then you're going to see it again. So it's something that's coming back here again, but you're going to think I'm crazy. But we're going to. I have a small surprise here in a couple weeks, but I'll get off here. We're going to get some, uh, find out on this, uh, damn, uh, turn signal switch. See if that, or not the switch, but, uh, whatever the hell that is, the blanker switch. See if that has anything to do with the marker lights. I'm going to research that for a minute or try to find out something, troubleshoot this, but, but we'll be back tomorrow and, uh, you know, just keep following. We're going to get this bitch on the road for long.